Good morning, Priya. Good morning, Rod. So you've been seeing me super excited and happy these past few, you know, hits, but now I'm probably going to have different expressions because we're talking about insects, but they're very important to the plant cacao. And to tell us more about it, I'm joined with John and Janet's here with another cockroach. Yeah. Yep. So uh, we have one of our educational insects here with us today. Uh, some of you may recognize him. He's made a not made quite a few appearances on TV before, if you recall one of the old shows, Fear Factor. Uh, so this is a Madagascar hissing cockroach. I'm holding a male. Uh, we can tell it's a male by these two horns that he has on the front, kind of like a rhino. Uh, so the reason why we have him out today is Madagascar is starting to become a really big producer of cacao nowadays. So this guy is living on the understory, on that ground, right underneath those cacao trees, eating the dead leaves, eating the dead pods, eating all of that good stuff. So with this in mind, we have kind of our own fear factor challenge for you today, Coco. <laughs> so obviously insects play a vital, vital role in the cultivation of our cacao plant. Uh, yeah. Across the world, insects are a known commodity in eating. So we have with us today some cockroach, or not some cockroach, some uh, I crickets. Say, not happening. I apologize, <laughs> crickets uh, that have been dusted with some cinnamon and some cocoa to make them a little sweeter and a little bit more flavorful for us. So are you willing to take the challenge today? I guess so. Okay, so uh, to show everybody here, we have uh, our crickets. They've been dusted with a nice cinnamon chocolate flavor. So are we ready to give it a try? Yes. All right, so let me set my, oh my gosh, cockroach buddy done. Act like this is not a cricket Go that I'm going Grab one, to whichever eat. one you like. I'm going to eat one right there with you. Don't worry. All right. This might go viral. I don't are know. Are we ready? Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Okay. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> to me, they taste like sunflower seeds. Everybody's a little different, yeah, but it is that getting over eating an insect, right, Coco? It, it, you know what? I will say, once you chew it on a little bit, you mostly taste cinnamon, so that's the good news about it. I think once I chewed it, I was like, did I really just do this? I exactly. think that's what went through my mind, which is why I had that moment, but I think I'm okay, but I am going to send it back to you guys. 